Hello everyone, my name is Samantha. I am the Executive Director to RescueNet, Resources Empowering Stealth, Closeted Questioning, and Under-Resourced LGBT Individuals on the Net. Everyone should be aware at this point in time that the biggest hate crime has happened in the LGBT community. We are looking at 53 harmed individuals and over 50 bodies coming out of Pulse, Orlando as of two o'clock in the morning on a Sunday. We are in the middle of Pride Week. People are losing their friends, families, and close ones on a daily basis. And yet, we feel the need to politicize and argue and add so much cultural dissonance to our society that we lose far more lives per day than we should. The LGBT community is angry, it's confused, it's sad, it's frustrated, and all of that rightly so. It is Pride Month. We are talking about identity. We are talking about a clash of cultures. The shooter pledged loyalty to ISIS shortly before he attacked. He was unhappy about seeing two men kissing. With the cultural insensitivity of Donald Trump, with the hatred put forward by many people who are against the LGBT community. This is not about gun control. This is not about the LGBT community. This is not about religion. This is not about Muslims. This is not about America. This is about intercultural reflexivity. Please Google it. Understand that cultures, no matter how different they might be, must coexist for us to have peace, for the LGBT community to have peace. Now it's been politicized and it's been argued time and time again. How are we going to fix these problems? How are we going to prevent someone who doesn't understand what it is to be culturally reflexive from buying guns, from walking in, and from shooting people. This is not just about guns and it is not about mental health. We are not talking about any one solution and we never will. America needs to understand what it means to accept differences, to accept the way people have lived, to accept people's identity, to accept the diversity in our nation. I'm tired of this. I have been an advocate for years, and this needs to fucking end. I'm sorry. Learn more and educate. To the LGBT individuals who are watching this and who have been affected by the shooting in Orlando, we stand in solidarity with you. We understand that this is going to be an extremely trying time that many people are going to live in fear of their identities from now on, or for fear of how their family members received the news. If you are stealth, closeted, questioning, or in an under-resourced and potentially dangerous area, please reach out to us at RescueNet so that we can offer you the resources you need and reach out to your local resources to ensure that those resources are provided in your community. It's time to heal, and in order to heal, we need to understand. Thank you so much. We're all in solidarity, and we are our own window.